For those of you who remember Mattel's Movie Masters line for the Dark Knight movie, you remember a line of really well-sculpted figures that unfortunately warmed a lot of pegs. The problem wasn't that they sold poorly, it was just that they were over-ordered. Too many stores had too many of them, not wanting to miss out on the latest greatest action figure line. Because of that, they kind of disappeared off shelves for a while. They've returned with the Green Lantern Movie Masters, but Batman was more or less forgotten. Until now. Thanks to the Batman Legacy line, they've returned, now with this two-pack, featuring prototype suit Batman and Commissioner Gordon, the figure they promised us, but never before produced. The packaging is pretty much what you've come to expect from the Batman Legacy line. There's the logo on the top that has the movie-inspired redesigned Batarang. You've got some movie-inspired artwork on the sides, as well as photos of the actual figures. And then, of course, on the back, you've got bios of the characters and giant photos of the figures that are very well done. Now, the prototype suit Batman has been released before as a single figure, so he's the figure most people are less excited about. But, to be fair, he is very well sculpted, captures the likeness of Christian Bale very well, and he does have over 20 points of articulation, which makes him into a very nice action figure. And to be honest, when I first saw him, I thought he was basically just a Batman Begins with a set of suspenders and a Bruce Wayne head. But he is a different sculpt from both the Dark Knight Batman and the Batman Begins Batman. So I guess he is overall a nice original sculpt. But still, not the one we're here to see. Although as an added bonus, he does come with this accessory of the pull-on ski mask. Although it does make him look a little bit more like the Dark Knight of the Scarecrow than the Dark Knight Detective, but hey, you can't win them all. And now we can turn our attention to the man of the hour, Commissioner Gordon. You know, when I first saw this figure, I have to admit that I was thinking, oh look, they took the Joker figure and they put a Gary Oldman head on him. How original. But as you can see by comparing the two characters, it is a completely different sculpt. His pants are baggier, his coat is open, his vest is unbuttoned. It is a completely new sculpt. The jacket can come off, which makes Commissioner Gordon look a little silly with his dress shirt with very dark jacket sleeves on it. But when we look at the coat, we can see that the vest is not a separate piece. It's actually molded as part of the overall jacket. But he does have over 20 points of articulation, and having the sleeves as part of the actual figure articulation makes him much more poseable. So overall, it's a plus. The one problem, though, happens to be his gun. The gun doesn't exactly fit into his hand. The hand is sculpted open as if it's going to hold it, but it doesn't really fit in there well enough. You can kind of drop it in there, but you can see that from another angle, it's really just kind of sitting there in his hand. He doesn't really grip it. And you can try to push and make it fit in there, but it's not really going to fit in his grip in any way that looks natural. Now you can take the gun out and try to put it in his other hand, but the other hand isn't really molded to try to hold a gun. So the best you can do is stick it barrel first into his fingers, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having the gun in the first place. From his patent leather shoes to his frumpy raincoat to his Coke bottle glasses, Commissioner Gordon is a great addition to the Movie Masters line. Even if you bought that prototype Batman figure a few years ago, it's worth picking up this two-pack just to get that Gordon. And if you missed out on the Movie Masters line the first time around, consider this your opportunity to make amends for missing out on one of the best movie-inspired action figure lines of the past decade. Dirt, call me! <laughs>